Hello everyone, Jobo Gamer here, and this is Uncharted Drake's Fortune. This is the first game in the Uncharted series, which was originally on the PS3 and has now been remastered. This is the PS4 version, which should run at a nice 1080p. Um, Uncharted was my favourite game series on the PS3, so I thought I would have another go at it and play through the games again. So here we go, a new game. And I'm gonna do it on hard mode. I don't think I've ever actually done it on anything higher than normal. So this will be a new experience. I love the music as well. It's a, it's a really great soundtrack to just listen to without playing the game. I'm here off the coast of Panama where we just recovered what we believe to be the coffin of legendary explorer Sir Francis Drake, who was buried at sea over 400 years ago. Are you sure you want to be defiling your ancestors' remains like that? You make it sound so dirty. <laughs> Besides, I thought you didn't believe me. Well, I did do my research, and apparently Francis Drake didn't have any children. Well, history can't be wrong, you know. For example, you can't defile an empty coffin. What the hell? <laughs> you devil. What is it? Come on, hold it up. Oh, no, 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 no way. Deal was for a coffin. That's it. Wait a minute. If my show hadn't have funded this expedition, hey, hey, you wouldn't you have... got your story, lady. Look, Mr. Drake, you signed a contract. <laughs> I have a right to see no, every single thing that... could this... you hold that thought? Sully, uh, we got some trouble. Hurry it up. Okay, okay. What's going on? Uh... Pirates. Pirates? Yeah, the modern kind. They don't take prisoners. At least not male prisoners. Wait, what are you talking about? Uh, sh shouldn't we call the authorities or something? Yeah, that'd be a great idea, but we don't exactly have a permit to be here. What? Yeah, so unless you want to end up in a Panamanian jail, we should probably handle this ourselves. But what's worse? You obviously haven't been in a Panamanian jail. Do you know how to use one of these? Uh, yeah, it's like a camera. You just you point and shoot, right? Good girl. Here we go. Here we go indeed. Let's shoot how some the pirates in here? the face. These guys have been telling me for weeks. I thought I lost them. What did you do or not. Uh, it's that's all blood. That's all blood. Can you blow the boat up? Oh, that's I've never actually noticed that before. These guys don't like you much, do they? Less talking, more shooting. Okay, that makes this part a lot easier. That's, a, that's the punch button. What's the reload button? I don't know, I'm sure it'll tell me. Okay, so they're coming aboard. Hello there. Yes, thanks. Oh, no, you don't. Where are they? Oh, there. Well, I suppose I could punch them, but shooting them is much more fun. Oh, so you can't, sh you can't shoot them when they're not on your boat. Okay. Because they have magic boat armor. I'll just punch you in the face instead. Or, okay. 
Come on. Right. Thank you. And oh, I don't need yours. Anyone else? Yeah. I keep pressing square to reload. Square is not reload. Punch, 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 punch. And shoot, 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 shoot. Shooting was not working. I know there's another one. I can hear it. Oh yeah. Headshot. Are you done? No. Nope. I'm gonna hide. Oh dear. Yeah, I was right to hide. Okay, that's not good. What is that? Oh, hello. Savior. Save us! I'm getting my security deposit back. Stop shooting me! Cavalry's here! Oh my god! Oh no! Damn it! Whole ship's gonna blow! We gotta jump! Oh wait! What are you doing? Okay. Come on! Okay. Go! Alright! Under control until they blew up the boat. <laughs> you all right? Nothing the years of therapy won't fix. Well, if it isn't the beautiful and talented Elaine Fisher, flattery will get you screen time. Yeah, I'm more of a behind the scenes kind of guy. Victor Sullivan. Huh. <laughs> ah, for Christ's sakes. <sighs> what do you say we get out of here? Before we attract any more attention. Well? A little present from Sir Francis. Oh, oh, so you found the coffin. Wait a minute, is this what I think it is? <laughs> Drake's lost diary. He faked his death, just like I said, Sully. He must have been onto something big. Yeah, well, let's just keep that between us. Thanks for the loan, Mr. Drake. I think I've earned a look at that diary when we land. So look, when Drake sailed into the Pacific, he took the Spanish fleet completely by surprise. He captured their ships, he took all their maps, their letters, their journals, and he recorded everything in this diary. Uh-huh, so this... But when he got back to England, Queen Elizabeth confiscated all of his charts and logbooks, including this one, and then swore his entire crew to silence. Yeah, so this... You see, Drake discovered something on that voyage, Sully. Something so secret and so valuable, they couldn't risk it getting out. All right, Nate, just pretend for a minute that I don't really care about any of that stuff and cut to the chase, would you? <sighs> Man only interested in the climax. He must be a real hit with the ladies. Never had any complaints. Okay, then. I'll jump to the good part, just for you. Ho, ho, ho. Huh? El goddamn Dorado. He was onto something big, all right. Does it say anything else? Oh, so now you're interested, huh? Yeah. Well, unfortunately, no. Last page was torn out. I'm telling you, Sully. This is it. This is finally it. Yeah. Only... We got one little problem. Yes, that's what I said. It blew up. It sank. No, that's why we have insurance, right? Oh. Oh no, the camera? No, the camera's fine. Don't worry about the camera, no. Still as good as new. Sully, the girl can hold her own. You should have seen her. Fine. You go on out there and you tell her, we just found the lost city of gold. Maybe her producer can get it on the air tonight. Oh, come on. Nate, do you trust me? More or less. <laughs> good. Because we're going to have every two-bit scumbag in the world racing us to this treasure unless we cut her loose right now. You're a real gentleman, Sully. I know. It stinks. 
She'll get over it. No, I don't... I don't care for over budget. I mean, do you realize that this could be, like, the biggest story of the year? <laughs> Hi. No, I don't trust him, okay? That's why we need to move fast. So just get me the camera crew, and I promise you that... Son of a bitch. Hey! <sighs> Should have seen that one coming. Ugh. I'm not as young as I used to be. <laughs> uh, yeah, you weren't too old for that little barmaid in Lima, were you? <laughs> well, that was different. Although I must admit, equally as strenuous. Oh, I didn't need to know that. <laughs> well, hang in there, old timer. We're just about there. Let's search you for know, some treasure. This reminds me. I ever tell you about the time I pawned a phony 16th century Santo off on Pablo Escobar? <laughs> <laughs> there must be some treasure uh, here risky somewhere. Move, but by the time he figured it out, I was. Nate, are you even listening to me? No. Hanging on every word. Uh, why waste my breath? I don't actually remember where the treasures are in this game, so I'm just gonna have a little hunt around and get my feet wet. I do remember. <laughs> They sparkle just like that. What have we found here? A nice silver Inca earring. Oh, I say nice. I, no, I, d I wouldn't wear that. What's up here? Just some rocks. Come on, we want to find El Dorado, not stupid earrings. They, I say they have done a really good job on the remaster of this game. It looked pretty good on the PS3, but this is even better. Let's go and play in the waterfall. There isn't even any treasure behind the waterfall. There's always something behind the waterfall in games. That's the rule. Hold on. You really think Francis Drake came all the way up here, huh? We're an awful long way from England. Well? I don't get it. According to this, we're right on top of the mark. Maybe you're not reading that thing right. Let me see it. No, this is the place. There's nothing here, Nate. Another goddamn dead end. Easy, Sully. Just relax. Let's take a look around. Yes, yeah, Sully. It's a puzzle adventure game. It's not just going to be linear, you know. Well, it is. It is very linear, but it's not going to be spelled out in front of you. This is like trying to find a bride in a brothel. What have we found? Oh. I accidentally went the right way. Okay, I was looking for treasure. Some nice ancient rocks to play about on. What do you think this is, Incan? Nah, it's older than that. Like 2,000 years older. Huh. It's an ancient climbing frame. See? It's all about climbing. And jumping. Tough. Find anything? Nothing yet. Oh, I thought that was a Venus flytrap, but it's just some weird sort of 2D flower. Ah, the conveniently placed traversal mechanism. Oh, oh, oh. Be careful and of course there. it starts to fall down. Hey, there's something funny about the ground down there. Yes, look, it's covered in leaves. That couldn't possibly mean anything in a jungle. There are never leaves on the ground in the jungle, you know. Oh, it's hollow, is it? Oh, 
let me guess, if I follow the one path that's available to me, I'll find something to smash through it. It's almost like this is the first level of a video game. Oh, look. Oh, that's such a surprise. Is there a treasure up here? I don't think there is. No. Okay, let's push this giant rock then. Kaboom! Good work, kid. Ow. Just smack my face on the rock as I jump down. Okay, let's go into the spooky, scary cave. Is this El Dorado? Flashlights for this one. Oh, oh, oh. oh my god, it's Batman's cave! Batman is the guardian of El Dorado! Come on, Batman, what have you hidden in this cave for us? Is it something valuable? I hope it's gold. What a warm and homey place, eh? <laughs> well, not quite what you were expecting, huh? Yeah. Where's all the damn gold? Yeah, this place was picked clean centuries ago. No good limey pirate. No, it wasn't Drake. Check this out. Looks like the Spanish got here before he did. What the hell, Sully? Nate, I'm not looking for a lousy piece of tin. I'm up to my eyeballs in debt. I was really counting on this one. Too many big bar tabs in Lima, I guess. <laughs> that and, well, just a few bad deals. Yeah, well, I always told you to stay away from the bad guys. And the bad girls. Yeah? Look who's talking. What's that supposed to mean? That reporter? I saw the way you were eyeing her. Elena? Please. I snuffed any chance with her the second we ditched her on that dock. <laughs> All's fair in love and war, kid. Uh, and what if you can't tell the difference? Then, my friend, you are in big trouble. The Spaniards sure left a lot of crap behind. Like treasure. Oh, that's the way out. Oh, I wanted to pick up the hat. How could you? Now I'm just going to break this pot. And there's nothing inside because this isn't Zelda. Careful, Nate. That's quite a drop. Oh, you're right. It is. Uh, you're not kidding. Aha. Let's make a conveniently placed traversal mechanism. Don't fall off. They could have put some lights in this cave, you know. Okay, let's get this door open. Let me guess, it's gonna fall as soon as I let go. Oh, what a surprise. Here, let me do that. Okay. I'm going to do a cool Indiana Jones roll through the door. Roll! Roll! It didn't let me roll through the door. I'll hold it open. See if you can jam it from the other side. Is a wooden cart going to stop a massive stone door? I guess we're about to find out. All right, let go. This ought to hold it. Oh. Hurry, Sully! Oh. The answer is no. That was a little too close. Let's hope this place has a back door, huh? You know, this looks familiar. I think there's something in Drake's journal about this. How convenient. Yeah, here it is. Looks like this thing is some kind of lamp or brazier. See if you can light it. So, uh, Francis Drake was a good artist, wasn't cigar. it? Now it comes in handy, huh? Basically a perfect drawing of that thing. Oh, they did put some lamps in. And a big thing of fire. Fire? No, that's the big thing of fire. That's the big thing of wood. Gotta figure a way to clear this debris. Ah, uh, yeah. Fire and wood. Nice. Just casually walk across the fire. Now what? Um. 
Now we shoot this pot. Uh huh. Okay. Uh, this way, I guess. Yeah, look at this. Some nice hand holds in the game. Uh, Why do some of them. Oh no! He just went straight past it. That didn't go well at all. Why do some of them always fall down? That's my question. There we go, that's better. No jumping past them this time. Oh, they're all starting to fall down. Oh, that's not the one I was aiming for, but I'll take it. Fireman pole tree! Whee! Hey, I shot this pot. Right, now I guess I have to let Sully down. Um, oh look, some barrels. I wonder what I have to do to them. Come on. I know you're like 60 years old, but you can climb a ladder. Are you ready? Do you need to catch your breath? Oh look, another thing that he can going. light. I really don't understand games that have this kind of thing. Where you light the fire and the big stone door magically opens. How? I don't even know how that would work. Some weird magic mechanism. I, I don't know. This is supposed to be thousands and thousands of years old, but yet they have a machine that can open a door when you set fire to it. At least they didn't do the thing of the torches still being lit, even though no one's been here for thousands of years. Hundreds of years? I don't know. When was Francis Drake alive? 17 something? I don't know. Ah, a puzzle room. What do you make of this? It's a puzzle, I just said Wait, that. I recognize these symbols. You know. How ca how carefully did you read this diary that you recognize the these weird these symbols? The order of these signs has some importance. Right, so... Uh, cross thing, bird man, spiky dude, creepy face. Okay. Um... Creepy face, cross thing. Oh, that's not a button. Um, oh, it's up there, look. How do I get up there? So I guess this is the button? Yeah, look. And what happens now? I believe this even less than the fire. At least the fire is providing some kind of energy to power a machine. Okay, so it was cross, then bird man. Is this bird man over here? Um, I think that's spiky dude. So let's go across. Or just fall off. Can I really not get up that side? Doesn't seem so. Go on, do your shimmy. Is that a thing people can really do? I don't know. Right, let's not miss this time. That's better. Yeah, here's Birdman. <laughs> That's two down. And then it was spiky dude. Oh no. I'll just climb up and shimmy again, shall I? Wish there was a speed this up button. Okay, Birdman. Your time to shine. One more left, and it's the creepy face. It really is a creepy face. I wouldn't, I wouldn't want that to see that face in real life. Look at that. That's really creepy. Why would you? 
Why would you want to? Oh, no. Ah, oh, the giant pit of death. Just what I wanted to open. Jump in the hole! Oh. Yeah, looks like there's a ladder cut into the side. I guess I'm not allowed Wait to jump here while in I the check hole. It out. Where's this ladder then? Just be careful. Ladder. Oh, it's around the other side. Get out of the way. Down we go. No, I said I said down. There we go. Hey, watch your step down there. Thanks for the tip. Oh, this looks ominous. What have we got here? Chains with skulls on. Ooh. Do that clinky sound of skulls. Okay. Actually, I don't think Get I've ever heard that sound before. No one has ever clunked skulls around near me. Don't tell me you're gonna swim in that. Uh, I guess that I am. Worse. Oh, my face. He doesn't seem to like his face very much, does he? <sighs> I'm really wet. I am really not surprised. These are very convenient steps, aren't they? Oh, I can't see. Oh, another fireman's pole. But I have to go up this one, not down. Oh, I see some more barrels to shoot. I made it. I'm on the other side. Can you get this open? Probably, yes. I'll just shoot this barrel. Hmm. I still don't know what the reload button is. Nice one. Come on, Sally. Die, pot, die! Well, I haven't been looking out for treasure. Oh, I don't know. I guess there hasn't been any. I've got this one. Oh, this is a two-player one. Oh, those do not look safe to walk across, do they? But he's going to walk across them anyway. Ah, this looks safe. They're going to fall. I know they're going to fall. Oh, what a surprise. Run! That was extremely close. I pressed that at the last second. Yeah! Oh. I made it! I'm okay! He gets the nice platforms to run across, and I have to. Go across the weird wooden death platforms. Now it looks like we're getting somewhere. After that, we better be. Have we finally found the city of gold? Or have we found another pot to destroy? Or have we found a cutscene? Yeah, we found a cutscene. Oh, man. The temple must have been built around this. Around what? A statue. gold statue. A huge gold statue. And look here, these people, they're worshipping the damn thing. At least, I think they're people. Of course. El Dorado, the golden man. Sully, it wasn't a city of gold. It was this. It was a golden idol. Man, can you imagine what that thing would be worth now? Probably it's weight in gold. Here. Tracks. I bet the Spanish dragged it out on cut logs. <laughs> We're 400 years late for this party. So the trail's cold. Yeah, it looks that way. Son of a bitch. Unless. Unless what? We follow the tracks. That sounds like a great idea. Or it sounds like a good way to go and find someone to kill us. But we'll have to wait until next time for that.
because I'm going to leave this episode here. Next time we'll try and catch up to those Spanish devils who stole my giant statue from me. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!